Hey, y'all, we are back for part two of this closet declutter. <laughs> I have my big box. The irony of it being... In the irony of it being an Amazon box is not lost on me. I am trying out a new microphone. Please let me know what you think of the sound quality. So I had a microphone before that was sitting like on a stand. And if I wasn't close to it, it wasn't picking up the sound. And I want to do more vloggy kinds of a video, kinds of, kinds of a videos, kind of videos. And so that means I have to walk around with something like this, which is goofy looking, but it's transmitting sound to something that's sitting up. Anyway, that's more than you need to know the technicalities. The point is, I've got this wireless mic. Let me know what you think of the sound. So in the part one of this closet to clutter video, I decluttered 20 pieces, 20 tops, 20 like shirts and sweaters that went away. In fact, let me try to do this without messing up the mic thingamabobber. But we did that section of the closet there, cleared that out. And I felt pretty good about that. And I promised that we would come back and do this section here, which is my like work blazers. Now I'm in a situation, at least right now, where I don't really need very many work blazers. I don't need any at all. The organization I work for now, we can do casual clothing to work. I might need, what, two or three blazers at the most for like the very rare occasion that I need that to wear in like a client facing meeting or something like that. Anyhow, I'm attached to some of these and I don't need to be because they're pretty outdated or they're old or they're ratty and falling apart. So I want to, let's see. I think I want to get to a point where I have no more than, I don't even want to throw out a number, but can we try to like work on 10, maybe 10 blazers that I feel comfortable wearing that I think look good on me and are flattering and that I would likely consider wearing again to, even if it's not a business meeting, like wear casually, you know, out to dinner or something like that with friends. So the other thing that I would like to do is you see that there is part in my unmentionables showing my brassieres and things over here, but I got a lot of stuff on the floor here that I would like to clear up and put up above and kind of just clear the floor space. I'm sick of like maneuvering around that stuff. So if we get the blazers done, I want to get there. So let's get working on the blazers. Okay, this is going to be really challenging for me. I'm going to try to like sort of Marie Kondo it only in the sense that like I'm not, look, Marie Kondo is all about super minimalism. I'm about the maximalism over here. So let's just be clear. I'm never going to be like Marie Kondo having like three or four pieces. I don't think that's what she espouses. But anyway, <laughs> um, I do want to make sure that I like the piece and that it's in good condition and does it need major repairs. So God help me. We're going to start off with this limited blazer in white. So this has a little bit of a shorter sleeve on it with this button detail. And I do like that it cuts in at the waist just slightly and is a little bit more on the casual side. What I don't want to keep are like 1980s blazers. Those are out these kind of cutesy blazers are in. So I'm going to say yes to this. Look, here's another sort of white linen-y blazer that I loved. You can tell from the way that it's creased that I wore the heck out of this. But look, look at the condition of this. This is so nasty. Like I've kept this. What am I doing? So I had better not even like give this away. Like this just, this needs to just go away. I do need to make sure I don't have any money or business cards or anything left in the pockets here and then move this bad boy along. I'm going to contradict myself because I do like this white linen blazer. It probably needs a little tidying up around the neckline, the color on the neckline. But let me hold on to this for a second. I'm going to come back to this in just a minute. Man, I used to love, love, love this Jones New York blazer. It's got like a pinstripe on it. Oh, man, this is another linen jacket. It has a short, it's shorter. I do love the button detailing on this. Oh, here's where things get hard. I'm just going to put it aside for a second and see because I like it. And it had pants that went with it. So y'all, I look so sharp in the suit. Okay, how cute is this thing here? This like sailor suit. This is Ann Taylor Loft. And I did have a pair of pants that went with this also. I'm also gonna put this aside. I promise I'm gonna get rid of some stuff. Hang on. Like this, this is a blue and white pinstripey kind of suit top. It had two buttons on it. There are some pants that go with this. And gosh, it's super cute. In fact, I had this tailored to my size when I lost some weight. And I probably, I don't see myself wearing this again. So I'm gonna say goodbye to this one. Well, there's nothing wrong with this. I think I can donate this. This is also Ann Taylor. It's a classic kind of khaki color, but I don't know that the shape is super flattering on me. And so I think I can let this one go to a new home. Oh my God, I have like 30,000 year old chiclets in here. <laughs> oh That's when stuff is funny. The stuff you find in these pockets is so embarrassing. This isn't technically a blazer. This I consider just a fun top. I really need to move this over and it's cute. This is INC International Inc, International Concepts. I'm keeping this. 
the shape of this one is just no longer modern. This is another Ann Taylor top. It's got like a ribbing to it, if you can see that in the camera. The material is nice, and this is a great soup top, but it's just, the shape of this is just not for me anymore. It's got to go. This is never leaving my closet. This is so cute on. It's just this little, it has like a clasp here. Actually, you can clasp it all the way down, but I usually just clasp it right there and have a little cami under it. This is like a shiny linen almost. And I love the tailoring on it. It's so cute on, and I love the neckline on it. It's a little more modern than your traditional like lapel top. And this is a yes for me. Now this jacket I would keep. Here is when I was in a size eight. Look, the tag is still on it from getting it laundered. And this is a limited jacket, the limited. And it's made out of a light wool. And I like the tailoring on it. I like the color. I like the sort of heathered um, coloring on it. So this, and it's in good condition. It tapers in nicely at the waist. It's really cute on with like some stretchy legging pants and a cutesy top on underneath. So yes, oh my God. Here's one that I would have a really hard time letting go of. So I'm gonna put it to the side. You can see I've gotten it dry, <laughs> dry cleaned. This is camel hair. It's a camel hair jacket from Talbot's. Talbot's y'all. Um, I don't love the buttons on it, but I do love this material. I don't love that it's longer. But if you are in good physical shape, meaning a little on the slimmer side, it tapers in. It doesn't taper in, excuse me. It'll hug your curves nicely. Let me just put this aside because I would have a really hard time letting go of it. This little jacket from The Limited is super stinking cute. Some might think it's a little fuddy-duddy. I think it's adorable for like the spring. I, I wouldn't fit into this for another 20 or 30 pounds, but I'm going to hold on to it on the side and we'll make a decision. Again, I love this neckline where there isn't actually a lapel on it. This is Jones New York from the Petite Collection. And um, I like this a lot. I love the material on it, like the tweedy kind of material. This is staying. This jacket I love. I love the tweed material on it. This is from Ann Taylor. Oh my gosh, it's so cute the way it like cinches in here. This looks adorable over some wool pants, like a single colored like brown or cream color wool pants with a little turtleneck under this so cute one of my favorite blazers is this one from the limited oh my goodness this feels so good on i love this material here it feels good in hand i love the button detailing i love that it only has the one button cover here closure here rather at the front non-fussy jacket really simple and you can wear it casually too this one's staying this is from Ann Taylor, and I can let this go. It's really boxy. It's a little on the bigger side. It's monochromatic. I like that it's like a linen texture, but the fact of the matter is I have other jackets that would serve the same purpose and be more flattering on me, so I'm going to let this one go. Thank you for being here with me. This is so helpful. I mean, I know you're not technically physically here with me, but it's so nice to know that I have you as my YouTube friends on the other side cheering me on as I figure out whether these make sense for me to keep or not. Really and truly, it's so super helpful. So thank you for watching. I appreciate you. Oh my goodness. So this is a blazer that I purchased a few years ago for the holidays because it's velvet. It's like a silvery gray velvet. I love the buttons on it. This is so cute. I love the blazers that kind of cinch in in the middle and just have the one button. Let, and this is from Loft, Ann Taylor Loft. Let me just kind of look, look how cute this is in the back. Let me just put this aside for a second and we'll come back to this. So I have maybe five or six here on the side that we're going to have to like make a decision about soon. Oh my goodness. I'm going to have a moment and get emotional because this suit is, I've gotten several jobs in this suit. So it means a lot to me. I'm getting emotional because like I grew up in this suit. It's from Tahari. Okay, get it together, Veronica. <laughs> Sorry, that's weird. I got all emotional on a YouTube video, but look how cute this skirt is with the little flary thing on the bottom. And I know it looks long here, but it will come down to like right below the knee-ish area. And then this suit, this the top was really cute and really fitted. This gray, very classy. Am I making a lot of noise with this mic? Very classy pinstripe suit that made me feel and look sharp. I remember going to an interview wearing Cabotin you know, that fragrance, the broccoli top green fragrance in this, I got that job. And in another job, I wore Marc Jacobs, the original Marc Jacobs that has the black band with the little bow on it, that fragrance and this suit and my big girl heels on and I got the job. So this is really emotional for me. I, 
I'm getting a little verklempt. I'm gonna keep this off to the side for a second. Oh my gosh, I have had that suit almost 20 years. Oh my stinking cuteness. This is from Talbot's. This is going nowhere. This is the cutest detail on a jacket ever. I don't hate the buttons on it. They're not particularly fancy or anything, but I do love the material. Look at the pocket. Shut up. That is so cute. With the little button. Yeah, it's going nowhere. It's so cute. This is a size eight though. Y'all help me lose weight so I can fit back into this cuteness. This I can let go. At one point it was super cute. I don't think this is my style anymore. It looks like jean material, but it's not. It's like a linen material made to look like jean. The stitching on it is a little outdated. It's just like way too, maybe a little too cutesy for me. This is from Ann Taylor Loft as well. And I'm okay letting this one go. It's a really cute jacket and someone will love it, but I don't think it's my style anymore. Here is a blazer that I would love to fit back into very comfortably. This is also a size eight from Ann Taylor. This is so freaking cute on this tweedish material, this collar, this wide open collar. It's got little pockets on the side. It's like very Jackie O-ish and it looks so, so cute on y'all. I really want to fit back into this. This is motivation and I'm keeping it. I love this one too. I don't know that I would wear it much. It's a very heavy, heavy, whatever you call this material. Is this also tweed? It's from Evan Pacone and it's in petite, in eight petite. I'm not a petite woman, but I can wear this if I am thinner. And I know y'all are like, girl, let those size eights go. You ain't an eight anymore. But I can hold out hope. Don't steal my hope. <laughs> this is a beautiful material, a nicely constructed jacket. And I do love these big, weird looking buttons on it. And I love like the wide lapel. I, I think I might hold on to Here's this. another jacket with material that my husband thinks is fuddy-duddy, but I just love this tweed material. It's like a green and a gray. This is Ann Taylor. And it's really a cool jacket. I love it with dark gray pants. I love it with black pants and even white pants. It will look good with or like a winter white. This is a cool jacket. I love the more crop jackets that sit like right on the waist. Really, really cute. Heavy jacket. Oh my gosh. So here is a super cute, very formal jacket. But look how cute the detailing is around the collar. I've never worn it. I've never worn it. What did you cost? I didn't pay this for this. I don't even know where I got this. This is a $240 jacket from Tahari. Yeah, no, I didn't pay this. The button on it is hokey. I don't like this cheap looking button. The jacket is super cute. I probably would never wear this because it's like too formal for my style. Yeah, I almost need the matching pants or matching skirt to this for this to be worthwhile. Gosh, this is so cute. It'll make someone happy, but I think I need to let this go. I'm never going to wear it. <gasps> oh, oh my God. Cheap jacket from Amazon alert. Let me just put this on for y'all so you see. First of all, this is what it looks like on the hanger. What the heck is this? Oh my gaudy goodness. What the heck? What is this? I purchased this probably 20 pounds ago. Hold on, let me back out. What's happening? Uh, I don't even know what the material actually feels good, but the cut of this, 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 What's happening, y'all? I don't even have words for this and it still has the tags on it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know what to make of this. So while the material feels good, the tailoring on this alone is a hot mess and he's gotta go. Look at these cheap buttons. Pink, think. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking here, y'all. Forgive me for my sins. I know not what I do. <laughs> this is another sort of simple and classic limited blazer. I don't love this button on it, but um, actually has two buttons. I do, I love the, the material inside, you know, but it's a simple little blazer. And this is one of those that, you know, you could wear with your jeans to a work event and like a casual t-shirt under, and you can semi casual dress it up with a little blazer and your little, your booties on, any number of booties and you're good to go. So I think I'll keep this blazer I can let go. This is a Ralph Lauren blazer, it's linen. I hate these like big buttons that are differently colored. Yeah. I don't know. I do know. I, yeah, I'm going to let this go. Here's another Ann Taylor loft jacket. This is a little on the formal side, this pattern. It's very businessy. Yeah. I don't, I don't see myself wearing something like this again. I'd like something a little bit more modern. Like even if I ended up going back into an office setting, I think I'd want more like modern lapels and everything. So this is a little old fashioned for me. 
I think it came with some pants. So when we get to the pants section and declutter all those pants, you'll probably see a pattern like this. Here's another Tahari blazer, but I gotta bring this in close so you can see. Look how cute this little pattern is here on the edging. So this is a little old fashioned and I need to let this go because I probably won't wear this again, but it's got that little edging all over the details. So cute. And I love that the, the buttons are covered with the same fabric. Look, it's on the collar all the way around. What a cute little detail, right? But yeah, this is kind of old fashioned, so this has got to go. I can't tell you why I love this blazer so much, but I do, and it stands alone. Like this is one, I would just wear a little black uh, cami under it or something, but again, it's like that Jackie O shape where it has a wider lapel with some rounded edging on it. And I don't love the huge buttons, but I love the material. This is another size eight that I need to fit back into, but it's got like these three quarter sleeves and it looks so cute over a little skirt or even some black, um, more fitted, like legging ish type of pants with a booty. So, so cute. Same with this y'all. I used to rock the hell out of this blazer here. How cute is this? I adore this round lapel. It has a little dip in the collar here and over here that you can't really see on screen. It's a blue and a grayish and a black and a cream uh, tweedish kind of print with these sort of hidden pockets here. I love the way that this hangs on me. This one is a size 10. I could probably get into this a little bit more comfortably than the, the eight, although I'm still not even in a 10. Can we talk? I just need to move this body. But such a pretty blazer. The material is really nice and flowy. I, I like it. Where am I gird? <laughs> Can we talk about this Sherlock Holmes blazer here? I thought that this was super, super cute. And I still think it's cute. I don't love the flat buttons on it, but it's got pockets here. It's got, <laughs> this is from Nine West. Do you remember that company? With the big floppy arms. This is kind of cute. It has style and it has flair and it's funky, even if it's a little outdated. I kind of like it. I kind of like that it's drapey and weird and strange and I'm keeping it. Oh my God, here's another jacket that I wore and wore to death at work. This is from Liz Claiborne. I, can you tell I like a tweed pattern? I'm a tweed gal. This does not have a closure. It's just an open front jacket. I love the little feminine scallop detail on it, but it's like ridiculously outdated now. Look at this. Oh my God, I thought I was so stinking cute. I was cute. I didn't think I was cute, y'all. I was cute in this and my little black pants and my heels and I was strutting around the office doing my thing. <laughs> yeah, this should go to a new home though. So I'm gonna say goodbye to this cute blazer. It's, it's done its duty, you know? This blazer is going nowhere. I can't tell you why I love this so much. It has some fuddy-duddy aspects. Like, let me bring this button in close so you see. It looks like, like something you would see on like a houndstooth sweater. But there's something about, this is from Talbot's, there's something about the little details on this jacket, like this banding that I think is so cute. The banding goes across the back and it has a flap like this instead of the slit in the middle. And I like it. I like the way it feels. I like the material on it. It's substantial um, yet lightweight. And I think it's a very flattering jacket. So I'm keeping this. <laughs> oh my God, this is such a trip down memory lane. Look, look at it. First of all, first of all, this is from White House Black Market. This is a size 14, <laughs> but I had it tailored when I lost weight. So I think it's actually like a size eight-ish. It clasps at the bottom Look. with this detailing. Look at these buttons here. It has like buttons at the scallops. I don't know what to make of this. This is either super grandma cute or totally hideous, embarrass my kids kind of outfit. And I'm leaning toward the latter now that I'm saying that out loud. And I'm going to let this cute thing go and go to somebody else. Someone else will enjoy this. She's done her duty. I wore the mess out of this jacket, y'all. Me and this Nine West jacket and the pants that accompany this went all over America. All over America. So all kinds of conferences because it's a nice stretchy material. I got to let this go. It's first of all, it's an older like cut, you know, that it's long. It's very boxy. It's from the era of women trying to look like they were wearing men's suits for women. You know what I'm saying? And so it's done its duty is all I have to say. You and I, we've been around together. We have grown up together. I have had this suit also since before my son was born, like, gosh, since like 2005. So 15 17 years I've been running around with this suit. Time to let it go. I'm just nearly speechless. 
This is a jacket that I purchased at my highest weight. <gasps> and um, I don't even know what to make of this, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep it in the back. Here's another very poorly tailored jacket that I purchased from Amazon. Word to the wise, maybe Amazon is not the place for tailored jackets. Like go ahead and buy sweaters. This is a sweater that came from Amazon. This shirt came from Amazon. There's some things you can get away with, but pieces that you need tailored to your body shape, maybe not so much. This is like, I feel like a ringmaster looking at this and I'm not gonna try it on for you because the penguin tail on this is so top hat ridiculous. I'm gonna just go on and pass this along. It looked really cute on the model though. So here's like a classic, simple black jacket that I need to clean up, but <laughs> that isn't going anywhere. This is also a size eight, just an Ann Taylor shorter jacket that is really versatile for wearing with like jeans and a cute, you can do like a cute little camisole under this. You can do a turtleneck t-shirt even with jeans or with formal pants or with a little skirt and um, the material, there you go. You can see the the knit of the material, if you will, or whatever the pattern you call. And I like this a lot. So this is safe. This is another jacket that has been around the world with your girl. This is Evan Pacone, a size 10. And I wore the mess out of this jacket all the dang time, all the time. So this has done its duty and been around the world and it's time for, for her to retire. I have a thing with this next jacket. It's a lint magnet. I don't, Tribella, I don't even know where I got this from or what maker that is. And it's a little fuddy-duddy. I like the whole Jackie O type of thing with the wide lapel and the short arms and the hit right above the waistline kind of a thing. Um, I'm not quite ready to let this one go. She needs to be cleaned up though. The material is a little, a little dusty, but she's cute. I might keep her. And then friends, <laughs> this is not like a work blazer but this is a Veronica is trying to be a badass jacket top. Check it out, y'all. <laughs> this is super cute on. This is adorable. I've worn this a total of like twice. Look at the back. This, oh my gosh. So if I ever fit back into this, I will wear it in a video. This is at one of my lowest weights. And I think it has so much potential to be just really badass cutie kind of a style. We're keeping this. Okay, so that's actually 19 blazers that I've kept and I've probably put just as many in that box. So let's look back at these that I set to the side and just do like a rapid decision kind of a thing. <sighs> I can't make the decision about this. Hold on. This I will let go. As cute as it is, it's unlikely that I will seriously wear this again. So let me let that go to new home. If I'm truthful, I will likely not wear the camel hair jacket again. So let me let someone else enjoy that. I hate to do that because I really like that jacket, but I've got literally here 20, 20 other jackets that I can wear. So let me let this beauty go to another home to be actually worn. Same here, I'm likely never going to wear this little sailor top again. Probably the same here, let me let this go. My gut is telling me just be done with it. Probably the same with this Anne Klein like linen top. I'll keep this one if I want something super light colored, which is the one from the Limited that's a little more cropped and a little more modern. I'll keep the suit for nostalgia's sake. So I'm not actually gonna wear this, but I have 20 then blazers that I can wear if needed plus that one suit that's on standby if I ever need a full suit again. What do we think? Did I do okay? I get like a biscuit now or something? A donkey bone? Do I get a chiclet? Can I chew the 30 year old chiclets that were sitting in the pocket at least? Okay, next I think that I am going to work on that little stuff on the floor. I'm not gonna have you watch that because I'm gonna be bending over and that'll be really awkward if y'all are looking at my butt. <laughs> I'll show you like the finished effect that'll help keep me accountable for actually doing it. So see you in a bit. Before I get started, I did want to get it together, Veronica. I did want to show you one additional cold shoulder sweater. It looks like this and it only has the one cold shoulder and it's, it's huge. It's like a blue and white zebra print. Am I going to actually look like a zebra? So one day I'll try this on and show you what that ended up looking like. So I kind of like it. It doesn't look quite like in person, like what it looks like on the Amazon picture, but it feels soft 
And maybe I'll try to wear this tomorrow and hope my coworkers don't think I've lost all of my marbles. All right, so I managed to put the big suitcase, that purple thing up there, and I really didn't have room for that before. I'm ready to go on vacation, can you, can you tell? So that's up there. And then I have this bag, it's, it's new, it's an Ugg bag that I think is a really soft, like buttery leather bag. So there's a strap on it. My uncle gave this to me. And I don't really know what to do with it. If I, it has like a jean material inside. It's really nice. I don't know if I will use this. I may give this to my husband for overnight travel or it's almost like briefcase -y, but it's really cute. So I definitely want to keep that, I think. I was thinking about selling it, but people are so funny online. You know, I sell fragrance and I sell other stuff. I sell eyeshadow palettes, but something like a big purchase like this, I probably would be nervous that somebody would think it's fake and then open a case and whatever. And I know damn well it's real. And once it's out of your hands and like you've mailed it off to the person that purchased it, you don't know what's going to happen after that in terms of a legitimate exchange. So I think I might keep this for myself. I have so much stuff. Look at this. I have all of that stuff to kind of clear out up there. You see my Halloween pillow that finally made its way up there. But all of these things, these are like old bags, old wallets and things that I need to go through. I need to spend some time going through. So, but for now, my goal is to get it up off the floor. So it's getting late and I need to wash this makeup off and wind down for the night and go to bed. So I don't want to be out here fussing around for several more hours. Here's the kind of nonsense that you keep. First of all, apparently I had the nerve to order a Jimmy Choo backup. This is a fragrance that I sold. So like, what am I doing with a backup of it? What was I thinking? I'm going to pass this along to a woman that wanted some fragrance samples. She wanted some advice on like what to wear for fragrance. And she mentioned this one. So I'm just going to give this to her. I think but she would then, like it. <laughs> I have all of these like bags from jewelry and like um, cleaners and things like that that come when you buy jewelry. Do you keep stuff like this? I don't know what to do with these things. Part of me doesn't want to throw them away. You know, so like when you travel, you can stick your silver. I love silver jewelry like this here. Put this in a bag like this so that it doesn't tarnish, you know. But I have like 3,400 and millions and trillions and billions and fulfillions. Like this is a presentation pillow that you put like a watch on or something. Why do I need this? I have a watch box, which is that brown wood thing there. I'm not a big watch person and I don't have expensive watches. Like that's not me. Other people do. Other folks in my family are into the watch thing. I do have my own watches, but they're not fancy. But um, why do I have a pillow for a bracelet or, or a watch to be wrapped around? But they're sitting in this and I'm just going to leave them alone for now because my brain can't process them. Then I purchased a backup of the Boneda, Boneda, <laughs> Boneda, Boneda, Bottega Veneta fragrance. Why was this ever $193? I didn't pay that. I don't even think I paid half of that. The bottle, the bottle, the box is cute. Do you ever keep boxes that products come in because you think you're going to use them for other stuff because they're cute? This is actually a, a nice box. Why did this come in? It's like a card with Bottega. Be gone. But this is it. And it's the fragrance with the lotion and then a travel spray. I, y'all, me and lotions, this is... This is dried liquid lipstick, lipstick that I demonstrated in a purchase or pass video. I promise it's not a bruise and I can't get it off. It's so thick, but I never really use lotions the way that I think I will. I can't get it out of there. So I think I'm going to pass this along with the travel spray, but I'm going to keep this big bottle. I have a little bottle, like one ounce that I purchased way back when to see if I would even like it. And I've been working off of that. I might switch that out, give that little one ounce away to someone and stick with this bigger bottle. And then this is me. This is like really me when I'm not trying to be pretentious. I'm not trying to be like hyper girly, hyper womanly. When I travel through the airport, this is what I have on my back. So if you ever see someone traipsing along the airport with this, it's probably me. Please stop and say hello. <laughs> Just like an Under Armour book bag where I can stick my charging bricks and my phone and all of my stuff in. This is how I travel. Ain't fancy, but that's the real me. I have this very pretty Teddy Blake bag that I picked out. They sent this to me because I picked it out and then I like advertised it for them on my channel. And um, it comes with straps. I don't, I don't love big bags like this on a strap. That doesn't make sense. I'd rather just carry this or like put my arm through it like that. But this is a bit of a, a more formal look, kind of stiff look. So I don't use this often. I have planned to use this for business. I put my files and stuff in it when I go to meetings. It's a very nice structure bag and I want to keep this. So I'm going to put it up there. And then this is a bag that I tried to sell on eBay and it sold. And I went to sell it overseas, but it got returned. I don't know why. This is an old coach bag that is discontinued. And I may just go on and keep it for myself. Like how cute is this? 
again, you have to be in the mood for this and you have to keep this nice and clean. But it's got, and this is a real trigger warning for those of you that don't like this, a real rabbit fur on it. It's very nice and soft. It's a quilted material and it's older. In fact, I'm talking myself into keeping this. Why did I ever try to sell it? Okay, you all, I declare success at having cleaned up the floor. Those two boxes you see over there are actually coming down to the basement with me and I'm putting those boxes away. In those boxes are old fragrance boxes and makeup palette boxes that I'm just gonna store in case I ever sell those things. So thank you so much. We, ma we made it through. Let me show you. We made it through getting rid of this many blazers and keeping just this many. So I feel really good about that. Next, we will maybe go into these skirts and all of those shirts. And then I still need to clean out these dresses and those pants back there. And then the closet declutter will be officially done and I will feel like a new woman thanks to you. So I appreciate you. Let me know what you think about this part two declutter and stay tuned for part three and part four. Thanks so much.